Hi, this is Creature Cast. This episode is about the fried egg jellyfish, who eats other jellyfish and is covered with these tiny flesh-eating amphipods, which are sort of like sand fleas. The fried egg jellyfish also has another hitchhiker on it, a crab. The crab has an interesting relationship with the jellyfish because at first it's a pest and can actually do some damage to the jelly. But then as it gets older, its eating habits change and it actually ends up cleaning the jellyfish and picking off the flesh-eating amphipods. Here's Trisha Tawanda from the University of Rhode Island. She spent a lot of time looking at these jellyfish. Oh, the jellyfish. Passiflora is called the fried egg jellyfish because the outside edges of it are kind of milky translucent and the center of it is almost school bus yellow. So they start about this time of year and you can see them. They'll be out there about this big. And by the end of the season, they are this big. (laughs) They get to be um, a meter across. When I was at Evergreen, we had noticed that this jellyfish would come into the docks with parasitic amphipods on them. I mean, they go beyond being parasites and they're actually parasitoid with this particular jellyfish. The way that a parasitoid is distinguished from a parasite, like you could have a tapeworm for all of your life and it's never going to kill you. But a parasitoid eats its host to death. Each jellyfish in Puget Sound typically have maybe two or three of these amphipods on them. And so what I realized was happening is that because Fasilophora eats jellyfish, every time it eats a jellyfish, it collects a couple of amphipods. And so Fasilophora get loaded with hundreds and hundreds of amphipods that eventually just eat them to death. So then the other thing that we realized is that some of these Fasilophora had little crabs on them. Cancer gracilis. What's happening is the crabs settle on the jellyfish, and they'll, there may be hundreds of them on one jellyfish. We counted more than 300 crabs on one jellyfish. Then they get kind of territorial about the whole business, and so you may have only three or four or five crabs on there. All the rest of them get kicked off, and then as they develop and they'll stay on there until they're more than half an inch across and by that time there's only one crab left everybody else gets kicked off and they wrestle on the jellyfish to see who gets to stay and the other interesting thing I got to see is that the crabs if they got kicked off they would wait at the bottom and when the jellyfish came by they would jump back on from from standing on their head did they stand like claw down feet up and jump back on Another wrestling match. (laughs) But then when I watched them, what I saw was by the end of the summer, the crabs would capture a amphipod and they would crack it open like a nut. They just threw away all the crunchy parts on the outside and just sucked up the juicy flesh on the inside. So here you have this parasitoid amphipod that at the end, by the end of the summer, they just demolish the jellyfish. It's just shredded. There's nothing left of it. And you have yet another symbiont on the jellyfish that starts out where it's kind of stealing the food from the jellyfish and parasitizing it a little bit, eating the jellyfish a little bit, sharing food a little bit. But then it evolves from that into a relationship where it's cleaning off the parasitoid. 